Doctors have known for years that malignant cancer cells could be destroyed with heat. Dissolving tumors this way, however, could potentially damage healthy tissue. Now a local cancer center has found a way to target just the cancer cells. Terry Merriman has details. For Jacqueline Ritchie, who has suffered with stubborn, recurring breast cancer, the results were miraculous. I could feel a lump here in my shoulder, and I would say halfway through the treatment, they were literally gone. I could not feel them anymore. The treatment is hyperthermia, and patients at the Sarah Cannon Cancer Center are feeling the benefits. This is going to be like a hammock in just a minute. And here, as patients relax in a hammock for about an hour, chilled water keeps them cool as tumors are heated, targeted at 112 degrees Fahrenheit. Their ability to reappear destroyed. It's painless and effective. Jack Willen was not a candidate for more radiation. They told me that the new procedure or the hypothermia that I had never um, heard about before would help make my tumor more sensitive to the chemo and the radiation. And um, the girls that were administering it said they had literally seen it melt tumors away. She had a difficult problem because she had recurrent cancer. That cancer had been treated by surgery, by chemotherapy, by prior radiation, and it lived through all of that, recurred. In that situation, that's a very resistant tumor. Those cells have learned how to live and adapt. If she came to me and I did not have hypothermia, I would not have been able to treat her again with radiation because I would have caused more damage with very little chance of benefit. Just step right on out this way. Hyperthermia is not used alone. It's always used in conjunction with chemotherapy or radiation because it increases by twofold the benefits from those therapies. My advice to anyone who was diagnosed with any type of cancer is to pursue lots of different avenues. Now a new and exciting local avenue to explore. Terry Merriman, Channel 4 News. The method of hypothermia has been used as a cure for more than 70 years now. It first came to light when doctors discovered cancer patients who ran extremely high fevers had tumors that tended not to grow so much.